Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Mining Magazine, and I'm here today with Woody Myler, Key Account Manager for Mining at Michelin North America. Michelin's mining division focuses on manufacturing and supplying large, high-performance tyres for the mining industry. Woody, hi, it's great to have you here today. Thank you, Dom. So, Woody, tyres are often seen as a necessary operational cost, but not always as a strategic asset and performance driver. Can you explain how tyre choice directly affects the core pillars of production, efficiency, safety, and sustainability in a mining operation? Absolutely, Dom. Uh, it's a fantastic place to start. And tyre choice is often underestimated, but it is one of the most strategic decisions that a mine could possibly make. It can directly impact production, efficiency, safety, and sustainability, those core pillars that you just talked about. So as safety is priority for all miners, I'll start with that. Uh, every time a tire needs to be changed or rotated, touched, repaired, whatever, whatever it is, it could put people in harm's way. And so when we're looking at uh, customers' data and analyzing performance, tire life, uh, a lot of times we'll discover opportunities where we can reduce tire related downtime. And this also translates to less tire changes and less exposure to risk. Productivity, another one of the core pillars you mentioned. Let's focus on that. How, like how much ore can a truck move in one hour? What about 10 or even a hundred hours, right? I mean, we know, any type of vehicle maintenance only lowers productivity. Our goal is to maximize the size productivity over the long term with tires designed to handle aggression, uh, aggressive conditions, haul maximum loads, and achieve a higher runout. Right? Fewer tire fitments and less downtime are major contributors to the productivity equation. So that's how that ties in. You mentioned sustainability. On that front, going back to my first example, with fewer tire, tire changes, and that just means fewer trailer loads of tires delivered to a mine site. All that translates to less fuel, less waste, smaller environmental footprint. Start thinking about all these things, not to mention less man hours for uh, the individuals at the mine site to put these extra tires into their inventory and so forth. So tires aren't just another operational cost on um, really they have a tremendous impact on all of the core pillars so a tire choice needs to be strategic and when you look beyond the sticker price the benefits ripple across the entire mining operation well that's really interesting so while the benefits are clear i imagine not every operation always gets it right from your experience what are the most common oversights mining operations make when choosing a tire brand and how do those decisions play out over time operationally? I appreciate this one and and uh, it's probably one of the biggest oversights is assuming that last year's fitment is this year's fitment or you know the product that worked for me before works is still going to be the one that uh, can go for me in the future. It, it, payloads increase the haul roads are constantly changing. Mines evolve, conditions shift. So if you're not reassessing your tire specs on a regular basis, you're leaving performance on the table. We've seen cases where performance dropped dramatically. Me personally, and 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 when digging into the data, we realized the mine had increased uh, uh, target loads in in certain circumstances. And what was the fix when we looked at it? fix was they needed to go to an extra load tire we make those decisions carefully and sometimes they seem so simple but they're often missed so we want to make sure we got the right tire for the right job another oversight is ignoring data that can gain indirect benefits this is a huge one michelin's mem system gives real-time insights into tire pressure and temperature which allows a mind to maintain optimum vehicle performance. So we can't stress enough how important it is for mines to monitor air pressures. And in one study, we found that just a, a simple 10% drop in pressure 
maybe that's eight or 10 PSI, can incrementally increase fuel consumption per cycle, but multiply that over the course of a year and the, the, the wasted fuel adds up real quick, very fast. Right tire isn't just about meeting the tire specs, it's about matching tires to your evolving conditions at the mine and leveraging smart tools to ensure we optimize them performance. So my message is don't just buy tires. Consider a total tire solution that can evolve with your mining strategy. That's what we want to do. Understood. Now, of course, one of the big factors operators look at when justifying decisions is cost. Uh, many in the industry focus on cost per hour when evaluating tires, but why might this be an incomplete or even misleading measure? It's often the go-to metric, CPH, cost per hour, but it's it's not the full story. So it tells you what you're spending, not what you're gaining. If that makes sense. Uh, it can be misleading in ways. Let's say you buy a cheaper tire. On paper, the CPH looks great. But what happens when the tire needs to be changed more often? You look, you're losing hours if that happens. It, on average, two hours if it's planned maintenance when the truck is brought down to change that. And if it's unplanned tire maintenance, you could lose four hours. That downtime hits productivity very hard. Um, Michelin tires, they, they might cost more per hour, but they're designed to deliver more uptime and fewer interventions. Think of it like hiring an employee. It's just an example. You can hire someone cheaper, but the seasoned expert is the one that's going to deliver more value as an employee. Michelin tires are that expert. Cost per hour is a metric. What you really want is a value metric, though. And that's where Michelin shines. So, yes, please track CPH. It's imperative. But don't, don't let it blind you to the bigger picture. Look at the total value tires can deliver to your operation and not just the hourly cost. That's what we're going for. So if cost per ad doesn't tell the full story, Michelin places emphasis on a, a different metric, mean time between failure. Can you walk us through what that means in practical terms and how it provides a, a clearer view of tire performance and value to provide that smarter, more predictive KPI? This one can be a game game changer. Um, mean time between failure measures tire related events or failures. Uh, I guess simply put, the mean the higher the mean time the longer the equipment runs without an interruption. That's what we want. Anybody wants that. Every tire event, whether it's repair, replacement, stops the production of the vehicle and may introduce safety risks. By comparing MTBF between a site's current tire brand versus Michelin, we can often predict those cost savings and productivity gains attributed to fewer downtime events, along with potential indirect benefits as we mentioned before, such as reduced safety risks and reduced waste. Michelin uses mean time between failure to translate the performance into KPIs. So what does that actually mean? You combine that with the weight studies, uh, inspections, operator feedback, everything to optimize tire life. In one case uh, at a gold mine in, in Africa, after analyzing tire and fleet data, Michelin was able to recommend operational changes and, and tires that could deliver higher mean times for their desired goals. So in this specific case, the customer is able to improve productivity by 17%. That's alarming. But I, though that's quite impressive, what, what would it mean if we could gain 2 to 3% extra productivity? And that's powerful as well. Every case is different. Mean time between failure analysis is, is it's essential to understanding the, the true tire, the, the true value, I guess, the and impact of choosing the right tire brand. If a site wants to make smarter decisions to achieve their greater productivity, start with MTBF. And now finally, Woody, bringing it down to the day-to-day -day aspect for mining professionals watching who want to improve uptime and reduce unplanned costs what steps can they take right now 
to begin shifting their approach to tyre selection and performance measurement. I appreciate this. Uh, simply put, if you're ready to rethink strategy, your tyre program, what you can do today is visit our website, business.michelinman.com. Go to the Contact Us page. And from there, we're going to connect you with a local earth mover uh, rep from Michelin. And we'll get to know you. We're here to listen. We want to assess uh, everything that you want to put in front of us. Any data, anything like that, we'll work together to unlock the full power of your operation. And if that's boosting safety, sustainability, productivity, whatever that is, we'll work with you to help find the right tire solution to do that. And we know every mind's different. And we have the expertise to implement a tire strategy tailored to each site rather than just telling you what to do. It's important that we receive and mutually work on it together. So I encourage you to reach out to us today and uh, we'll start a conversation that perhaps could transform your mind's performance. Well, look, Woody, thank you very much for those insights. Today I've been speaking with Woody Myler. Key Account Manager for Mining at Michelin North America. I'm Dom Hale. Thanks for watching.